bringing news that matters to you. You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. Tonight we will hear from a young girl who has been suffering from a rather unique condition her entire life. Things are about to change for Deshania Stubbs as she is finally going to receive the surgery she so badly needs. However, her family is still looking to the public for assistance. Kimberly Mullings has her story. At 14 years old, Deshania Stubbs is determined to enjoy her life just like any other teenager. You see, she's outgoing and enjoys socializing despite her physical appearance. It is hard to see everybody's not like me and they see me as a different person, but I'm like any other person, just a tad bit different. Tashani was diagnosed with a severe case of bowed legs, which she says has held her back in more ways than one. I'm thinking about what other people think, how to make myself fit in, how to feel normal, or how to be like everybody else. It's just like how, 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 and even why at times. But I try my best to not let it get to me. For many years, Deshania's family has been seeking assistance to get the medical attention and care she so desperately needs. And many times, she was supposed to have surgeries performed and they never happened, leaving her and loved ones disappointed. I know how long I've been let down, how long I've been not able to do it, the cancellations hurting me. I try not to get hype up and when they told me, I was like, mm, okay. I try to guard my heart. You know, I put a guard up to say, hey, calm down because you will know what's going to happen. But then that changed last year when Shriners Hospital for Children in Tampa, Florida reached out to the Stubbs family, offering to perform her surgery at no cost next month, for which she's grateful. When I see at a point in time I have to do blood work, I see facts come in from Shriners and all of this, I'm like, is this really going to be someone actually cares? Who's outside of the Bahamas is actually going to be willing to help me. Neither of Deshania's parents are currently employed and the Stubbs family is in dire need of financial assistance to get her to Florida for at least six months post-surgery to undergo treatment and rehabilitation. For those who want to help, going to help, and willing to help, I thank you. Treatment could continue for a period of two years. However, Shriners Hospital is committed to follow up with Deshania's treatment until the age of 18. Kimberly Mullings, Zedna Sandwich News. Now, Deshania's surgery is scheduled for June 29th. Her family will hold a fundraiser tomorrow. If you would like to help, you can contact the family at telephone number 602-2452 or you can make a donation at Royal Bank Freeport Branch. The account number is 738-5545. And now it's time to ask the doctor. Hi and welcome. More on Shanika's question regarding her experiencing abnormal periods for three months. In most cases, the reason for heavy blood flow or prolonged bleeding is either structural, such as fibroids of the uterus, endometriosis of the muscular wall of the uterus, sexually transmitted infections of the lining of the uterus caused by gonorrhea or chlamydia, for example, polyps of the uterus lining, or even cancer of the uterus, which is possible but much less likely in a younger woman. Alternatively, the bleeding you're experiencing, Shanika, could be caused by a hormonal imbalance where lack of or irregular ovulation keeps the levels of estrogen elevated, causing the lining of the uterus to be thickened for much longer than it normally would, leading to missed periods and heavy bleeding. If you experience any of these symptoms described, please visit your doctor or community clinic as soon as possible. I'm Dr. Monique Pratt, and this has been Ask the Doctor. 
born to lead. That's the theme for the West Grand Bahama District Council's high school speech competition to be held at the Eight Ball Rock Gym this Sunday at 3 p.m. Application forms can be collected from the District Council's office in Eight Mile Rock. Don't go away. Sports is up next with Ricardo Lightborn.